So, I haven't felt the greatest at all since Friday. Friday, I got up, went to do some research, and then decided that my head was spinning and that I just need to go back to bed and spend a lot of Friday in bed. And then came to, and then, so, but one of the sort of um, positive aspects is because I, I think I've told before, I have a 365 project on Flickr where I'm taking a picture each day that's based off of the Super Better project where I took photos every day, a self-portrait from between March to to uh, September 1st, and my, even my little uh, XSI that I love to have I've had since 2010, right, I got right before the Olympics. That is what in a sense keep me going, keeping me happy, keeping me sort of like positive about about life and living with cancer. And uh, went out, took a photo on Friday. Don't remember what it was. Saturday, again, head was spinning, headaches, feeling really, really bad because of the sort of like how my my cancer level was so high, and I was just in bed all day. But the only time I left my place was to take the 365 picture. I threw on some clothes, wandered outside and uh, trying to sort of get a grasp of, of, of going somewhere interesting and, and uh, unique on campus, take a picture. And in a sense, what this sort of um, photography is doing for me, it's in a sense of self-discovery, of learning about the campus as well as helping myself better, helping myself sort of like, um, not so much, uh, I could say stay healthy, but it's more of like stay mentally, mentally fit to be able to make it through each day through my photography. Otherwise, Saturday, I wouldn't have left the house, my bed at all. I would have just stayed in bed, and that's sort of what I'm getting out of this 365 project. Sunday as well, I left to go work out, went back to bed, then I went up and just and grabbed another sort of uh, photo. And the same thing today, where my head is sort of spinning, and so I wasn't able to, when I was, uh, going off to do some research, do some writing, readings, I couldn't really focus, and I'm just going to make this video, lie in bed for a bit, and tonight, run out and take pictures. So one of the sort of, um, what I just want to sort of share is that when you are feeling sort of illness, feeling not so bad, to choose something to do in your life that forces you to get out of the house. For me, it's taking pictures, and as long as my camera can snap photos, it's been since 2010, so sort of like dying out in a sense. I'm I'm getting out there, I'm leaving the house, I'm interacting, maybe not interacting with, with people, because I don't, don't think I saw anyone on Saturday, but I'm seeing people, I'm around, I'm seeing my surroundings, and that's so important, rather than sense being cooped up. I know this is going to be essential for me to stick with this, when I, I expect I'm going to start my... Uh, my chemo, chemo drugs again come uh, this month, and it's going to have to be. I don't know how, how, uh, how much it's going to affect me from physically. I don't know how how much my energy is going to be affected, but I do know that I'm going to focus on every day leaving my place at least once, so that I can capture a photo about my world, a self portrait that. Uh, is unique and, and sort of uh, sort of cool, and I hope also to take more pictures in a sense that sort of shares the the cancer process of me getting the IV for chemo, of me going to the hospital, traveling in the car, whatever is involved, sort of show that this is sort of like to tell the story about about my my fourth stage of cancer. So this is a little quick video I made, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye bye.